Hi, I'm Scott Truitt, Product Manager for the Developer Console. I'd like to show you a few of the new features of Pivotal CF version 1.3. First up is the new app dashboard. It has been entirely redesigned to show you everything related to your app, all on a single page. And best of all, I can now see recent logs from my app, including push and all app traffic. Up top, the health of my app, its configuration, and the status of all instances is front and center. I can quickly and easily scale my app and watch as that change takes place. I'll also see a new event down below. I can rename my app and I'll see that event down below. I can restart my app and I'll see two events down below, a stop and a start. I can also see how its status changes when I scale in the CLI. The page is refreshed all on its own. I can see my bound services and their credentials. I can see my environment variables, add a new one, edit or delete it, as well as view my VCAP services. I can see my routes, map a new one, and remove an old one. With the exception of recent logs, every piece of data on this page is updated every 20 seconds. When I initiate a change from Developer Console, it checks every 5 seconds until that request is resolved. What that means is you'll always know the health and status of your app in the new app dashboard. Next, I want to show you the usage report. The new usage report shows developers and operators how much memory is used by each app. Data is derived from app usage events in elastic runtime, such as starts, stops, and scales. It is rendered at gigabyte hours, which is a measure of memory allocated over time. Usage is broken down at the org, space, and app level. Rather than a lengthy list of app start and stop events, all identical app configurations are rolled up into one duration of time. The default view is of the current calendar month, with the two previous months available as well. And all data can be downloaded in a CSV file. And that's a quick tour of what's new in the Pivotal CF version 1.3 developer console. We're already hard at work on the next big leap forward and I can't wait to show you what's new in version 1.4.